Western Spain Television. Ours it is. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, world. This is Morning Spring on Western Spring Television. Femi Ojo is my name and we welcome you today um, for the week that has, uh, you know, this is the first one this week. And of course, this is a very good one. Thank you for staying with us all through last week. We are ready for you. We know you are ready as well. And thank you for making us. Uh, part of your morning routine where you are informed and adequately, you know, um, uh, educated about issues of public importance. And the conversations we have here are quite deep and very frank, and it enhances your decision making process. All is geared towards having a better and a working nation, a nation that we are all proud of. This nation of ours, good people, great nation, Nigeria. Once again, good morning. This is good morning. Good morning, how are you doing for me? Very well. Happy New Week to you. Yeah, wish you. What a perfect yeah. day to start a perfect week. It's the seventh day in the month of October. And they say the number seven signifies perfection. Mm. And we know that for this week, it's going to be a productive one for us. And uh, talking about October 7, mm. uh, it is the anniversary of the attack on Israel by Hamas. You know, it happened October, well, October 7, 7, 2023. Yeah. And of course, um, I know it's going to be commemorated or huh. it's going to be marked in Remember, Israel, yeah. um, mm. by the way. And also, we should expect probably pockets of protest um, or demonstrations by Israelis, not just in Israel, but mm. across the world. Because mm. you remember that a lot of people were killed mm. and many more people were also abducted and yeah. they are still in captivity till now. Mm. And this has actually... Um, this initiated the conflict between um, Israel and Gaza, and um, they are still on it. A lot of, and it has even escalated now. Yeah, we yeah. have Iran, Israel, yes. uh, Israel fighting battles on every front. Mm. Uh, it's uh, a sad day. It was a sad day for Israel uh, mm. last year, and I'm sure that it's going to bring back memories, especially to the families of those that lost, yeah. lost their loved ones mm. or those whose loved ones are still in the uh, captive of uh, the Hamas, uh, you know, militant. Yeah. My name is Evelyn Nohiola, welcoming you especially to this beautiful day. Mm. And in case today is that day, probably you lost your loved one. It's fun. It's okay. Life goes on. Um, the most you can do is actually mm. to ensure that you live well for those that have gone so that you can right. continue to create good memories for them. Very well. And, uh, you know, talking about uh, the conflict in the Middle East, uh, you know, one can imagine the trauma faced mm. by the families and loved ones of some persons that have not been declared dead, yet they have refused to be released by the captors. I'm talking about those in captivity a year, 12 months after, uh, you know, this other situation, and especially those you are not even sure of their status, either they are alive or they are not. And not just these release. Even at the other side as well, the collateral of this yeah. war have been quite immense. Uh, yesterday it was reported that those that have died in this war are more than 41,000, more, 41,000, more than 90,000 displaced and, you know, I mean, injured. Yeah. And of course, millions of displaced. And of course, you have matter. women and children of course. Uh, more in that number. This has to tell you that um, majorly the victims of war are those who are not really on mm. the war in the one uh, war front uh, yeah. they are mostly women and children and, and children, we yeah. hope and the we vulnerable. pray that this conflict can be resolved um peacefully there can huh. be negotiations to right. bring back peace into the different um you know locations All where right. this war has engulfed of course i'm not just talking about the middle east even here in nigeria many persons have wounded some have died because of the uh, you know, occurrence of banditry and, you know, uh, terrorism, abductions that we are seeing. Many persons are seeing that ab uh, the abductors then, mm. we hope, things will be done so that they can be reunited with their family and especially those in IDPs mm. for years, since 2010, 2011, 2012. Some of their lives have changed 
and it will remain changed forever mm. because they have been rooted off, you know, where they are used to because of the incidences of war. But away from that, very quickly, before we go to the papers, uh, elections, local government elections, you know, held, you know, our states or our scampery, you know, to organize one because of the uh, that judgment Supreme of the Court Supreme judgment. Court that says if you don't organize local government elections in your state and you have democratically elected leaders, you will have nothing to gain from us as far as financing is concerned. So in many states, Jigawa, Akwaibom, Benue, and of course, River State, you know, many of those elections went, in many of those states I've mentioned that more, without issues. But Rivers has been standing out. Yeah. And these are the issues, you know. We learned APP, Action People's Party, you know, claimed 22 out of the 23, local governments in uh, River State. Uh, that happened on Saturday. By Sunday, the chairman and councillors were already sworn in a certificate of return given to them. These are the issues. I mean, it just shows how <laughs> unique River State is. Very unique. I, I, if there is a uh, record to be broken, I get to say that um, the swearing in of those chairmen yeah, and councillors yeah. is the fastest we have had in the country so yeah. far. The elections happened on Saturday. Like you said, 22 mm. out of 23 seats for the APP with mm. Action Alliance claiming mm. one seat. Mm. And out of the 319 uh, councillorship seats, APP cleared 314, mm -hmm. giving um, the other, sharing right. the other seats for the other political party. We had the APC <laughs> picking one, the Labour Party picking one, yeah. uh, the PDP picking one, and mm -hmm. also one other party I can't remember right now. But the, 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 the politics in River State is actually very, very unique. And a lot of people were saying that why the rush to mm -hmm. swear in um, these newly elected well, officials. But, of course, it is what it is. And yeah. just talking about memorable days, over the weekend, we had the World Celebrate Teachers, mm. and it, <clears throat> it was an emotional one for so many people. I mean, remembering those who taught you from when you were small to, when, to where you are right, right. now, yeah. you know, from kindergarten, primary, secondary, mm. uni. And some people say they have spiritual fathers to yeah. spiritual teachers. So yeah. hope you were able to celebrate your teachers in yeah. one way or the other. You could have called them. Um, yeah. You could have sent them gifts. You could have, you know, sh given mm. them a shout out on your own personal mm. uh, page, uh, social media page. You know that they actually create uh, the most individuals mm. in the world today. That's there right. is no professor without yeah. teachers. There is no medical doctor without right. teachers. There is no president without no teachers. No profession. Not profession, actually, without teachers. So right. they actually make the world. Mm. And we hope that they get to be mm. celebrated mm. here on earth. No other say that yeah. a teacher's reward is never. Let them start getting in that. So in the spirit of teachers and the celebrating them, uh, let's, let's you have your 10 seconds to give a shout out to your teacher right now. Okay, so the this is, is me, Evelyn O'Hiola, giving a shout out to everyone who taught me right from uh, kindergarten if i start, I start mentioning no, 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 names don't. i mean i would not even mention Just all of them everybody. and it would be biased of mm. me but for everyone who has contributed right. to my life mm. to what i have become over these years mm. i say thank you for the job you right. do or mm. you did you know so many of them may, may be retired right mm. now so thank you for the work or the job that you did or you are still doing, you are really the real MVP. Ah, Thank right. you and God bless you. That's right. And let me use the opportunity to celebrate every of my teachers as well. For the first teachers, which are our parents, your yeah. mother, your first teacher, and then your father and your parents, everybody. But those ones who taught us in the four walls of the classroom. I can mm. remember my primary one teacher, Mrs. Yusuf. I'm not sure I can remember. I will recognize her right now. But wherever she is and all of those ones, you know, you guys are the real MP, mm. VP and whatever we can do to honor their legacies to turn out well in life. Mm. I'm sure that's when those teachers will be happy mm. that yes. And those ones that are still doing it now, even when the pay is not that good, you are doing well. Thank you very much. We'll go on this quick break. And when we return, we have the papers ready. It's going to be a bumper one this morning on Morning Spring on Western Spring Television. Stay with us. All right, thank you for staying with us. I will be kicking it off um, on the headline segment 
from the Guardian, the Guardian newspaper. And it says concerns over Naira's fair value after CBN's $2 billion lifeline. Take that again from the front page of the Guardian. Concerns over Naira's fair value after CBN's $2 billion lifeline. And you have these right there. Uh, NNPCL withholds $11.3 billion. Remits only $2.3 billion to Federation amid PIA flaws. You know, how come? Because um, these particular riders is in court. Who has said it? Who is saying what? And why is it happening like that? If actually this is true, with all the $11.3 billion, remitting $2.3 billion to Federation amid PIA. PIA is a law, by the way. Um, there's a Petroleum Industry Act, mm. you know, which is now a law. If there is a perceived flaw, I'm sure the basic thing to do is to refer it back, mm. you know, to the National Assembly and they will look at it. But then, it is what it is. Moving on, Fubra Swiss in chairman, APC upsets Benue, PDP shines in Akwaiba. Interesting one there. I like the choice of words there. I think APC as well as you know, cleared all the chairmanship positions, you know, in uh, Benway State, which used to be a PDP state, by the way. But since uh, Reverend Father Ayas Intalia came in into the state as a governor, everything has changed right now. Moving on. And here uh, we have some pictures there or oh, at some events. Uh, program officer at Lagos Food Bank, Justina George, and country manager and area business head. For West Africa, Mastercard for Lasha Day Lawal, you know, at an event below it as well is another picture of Sector Councillor of Food and Agriculture, Danish Consulate, and many other individuals there. But away from that, Nigeria's cargo clearance cost 179% above neighbors' state's report. Take that again. Nigeria's cargo clearance cost. 179% above neighbors, this report. And these are the issues. Neighbors, not in Europe, you know. Mm. And neighbors, you know, we cost to clear goods, to clear cargoes in Nigeria cost 179% more than what it would cost, you know, um, businessmen and women in neighboring countries. And this speaks more about uh, the ease of doing business, mm. actually, because some would rather birth their cargoes at neighboring countries and then bring it in you know but then even if they're bringing it in they still have to pay at the borders but what does this say because if it costs 179 percent more to clear your cargoes in nigeria as compared to other west african nations when the good is finally cleared and is distributed all in an awesome manner in retail manner by the time it gets to the final consumers they will be the one to pay yeah. for these and so that's why we are seeing some of these things that we are seeing right now. And it's not really good. I wonder why that is the case. In fact, there was a time that uh, some airlines were complaining that for you to have your aircraft in Nigeria, it costs way, way more for them to pack. If I may use that word, in Nigeria, it costs way, way more. So they rather go and, you know, land in Ghana, yeah. in Togo, you know. And so some Nigerians will now have to go to Togo to go and, you know, board those aircraft at a cheaper rate because if they come to Nigeria, they will be pay higher. more. These are the issues yeah. for the giant of Africa. I All mean, right. there were also times that people had to travel down to Ghana to get tickets or yeah. to travel out of the country to London because mm, it was because way cheaper, cheaper in Ghana than in Nigeria. And we have our... Mis our um, Mr. President, going all mm. out to say he is the, the number one marketer of the country, yeah, yeah. going to speak to uh, uh, people to come do business with Nigeria. But mm. what is the ease of doing business yeah. here? We have so many multinationals that are already jetting out of the Moving. country. Yeah. So it's like you opening your doors to so many people to come mm. in while the back door is left open is and left so open. Ma many more are leaving. Uh, by the way, he talked about free entry and free exit. But I'm not sure the free entry is just coming and go back the way you have you know, coming to the country, but you know, money in the legal way, by the way, must exchange hands. The economy must grow because if Nigerians who go to Ghana, who go mm. to Togo, you know, they might rather book an hotel. That means that the hospitality there is booming. Exactly. Buy things, exactly. food, exactly. you know, somewhere, souvenirs for their yeah. people, transportation. 
and it leaves the Niger market hanging mm. just because they don't want to pay more. And these are the issues as well. We should see to it. Now, stop bringing ill-gotten money as offerings. More Kawans. All right. Uh, stop bringing ill-gotten money as offerings. More ka. I think Lazarus Moka is the general superintendent or general overseer of the lost chosen ministry. Mm. And um, I want to assume, you know, uh, and he said, stop bringing ill-gotten money. I think that's instructive because when they bring it, there's no way you will know the money that has been brought from a fraudulent means mm. or for a means of corruption or a, a, a corrupt police officer on the road who has done stop and search to extort people and then bring it on and leave the holy hands and say we bring the sacrifice mm. or praise. And so I think it's good and it's quite instructive for the clergyman to say stop it. And instead of saying just stop it, we have to encourage people to do what is right. Not just that they should not stop it. They should not be involved, you know, in criminal and corrupt um, activities. activities. But then the clergy can only speak and summonize and advise. It's left for the people to do what they have to do. That's, it will be all from the front page of The Guardian. And from The Guardian newspaper this morning, we head on to Daily Trust newspaper. Let's see what Daily Trust has for us uh, this morning. On Daily Trust newspaper, we have this. How multi-billionaire illicit arms entered Nigeria 23 times in seven years. With the riders, trend portends grave danger. Uh, with uh, the experts, uh, okay, investigation ongoing. Uh, this is coming from Customs. And NSA's office takes custody of seized ammunition uh i hope this is actually looked into thoroughly because when uh illicit arms enters into the country it's it's not going to be for protection you and i know it's not going to be for protection it's, not for it's exactly it's not for movie exactly <laughs> definitely it will be for some danger in yeah. one location or the other for mm. violence in one location or the other and we hope that uh, the investigation that uh, the custom says is ongoing will be thorough yeah. and the national security advisor Ali Nuhu, mm. uh, Nuhu Ribadu would actually also mm. uh, be involved and interested mm. and invested in this um, investigation. It should not just end on the place of investigation. That's our issue in this country. Yeah, there, there should, should be, be prosecution. prosecution. Public shaming. And possible conviction. And of course, of people that are that, That's why, because it's not, investigation is one, prosecution is one, and um, the other one conviction. that is just, conviction is another and publicly making mm. these people known because they, these are not petty crimes you know when guns ammunitions whatever in whatever form enters the country is for sinister motives mm. is for wicked mm. purposes somebody might end up dying somebody might end up being you know being extorted of everything he or she has ever worked for yeah so it's not just we we have ceased they have been seizing all this while but we have never known publicly who are the ones bringing these things in True. They don't have names. True. Nine billion worth of um, ammunition, one billion, even if it is a thousand worth of ammunition, mm. who are the ones involved? That's what Nigerians want to know. And they should be convicted and maybe publicly named as well. Because as we said, when guns, ammunitions, explosives are brought into the country, it's not for entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's not for picnic. It's because somebody is waiting for it to wreak havoc. And so whatever that plan is, once we breach it, we should identify those people and let them face the wrath of the law. Well said, Femi. Uh, moving on, higher interest rate, painful for borrowers, but necessary to control inflation. This is coming from CBN. And of course, Olaya Mikadoso, who heads uh, that institution, has defended why he has you know, continued to raise up uh, the interest rate, uh, according to Nigerian parlance. Razor, razor, man. That's what he has so, been doing. Has it worked? Now? But th that's the question a lot of people have been asking uh, Mr. Cardoso. Your strategy, has it worked? I mean, doing the same thing over again and expecting a different result. They say it's the number one law of madness. Mm. And we want to know how mad are we in this part of the country if mm. we 
keep on doing the same thing and the pushers and of this particular expect policy expect that uh, there will be a different result a year later, people are saying that it raises the interest rate trying to control inflation is for a country who is that is into production yeah. mm. heavy production mm. what is nigeria producing we are literally not producing anything mm. even to the least of toothpicks mm. some of these uh, products are imported mm. into the country mm. so i think mr yamika doso should actually look more inwards and Work a, a strategy, pick up a strategy work that with works with Nigeria yeah. because I feel that Mr. Cardoso is working theoretically mm. and not really speaking to the reality of Nigeria as a nation. The fact is there. It works on paper, it works in economics textbook, does not mean it's going to work with us. And in obviously, Nigeria. it's not working. It's not, you have been raising it. I think it has been raised almost four or five times right More now. More than five times. Yeah, and then inflation is still what it is, right? Starting from fear. As well, you are raising inflation, but then the government has raised, or whatever policy or whatever is happening, has raised the price of fuel. Let's start from there. It used to be maybe 230, 180, like 15 months ago. Yeah. All of a sudden, after that ill fated policy announcement of what the stoppage of the payment of subsidy is skyrocketed to 600, 650, mm. and just a month ago already. We are buying it 1,200. Tell me, we've had over 1,000 increments, a 1,000 percent Now, increment Mr. Cardoso is saying in is, the price is of to fuel. control inflation, but PMS has just increased to 1,002. The government is saying we are raising. Oh, God. I mean, Mr. Cardoso needs to actually move away from his textbooks and move yeah. away from economics. I don't know if it's possible um, for CBN pressings to pull their suits, maybe wear some nice polos and tees and move around the country. Of course they know, know what's happening. Yeah. I, I do not believe they, that they, they are blind is to what a, is happening. Uh, but of course, um, we still keep our fingers crossed as to what will happen with um, the new, uh, the latest increase in interest <laughs> rate. If it's <laughs> going to do some magic, Nigerians are really, really expecting what magic? something. We hope that it's going to do some magic. Yep. Um, away from that, gunmen abduct school principal, eight others mm. in Kaduna. This is a star, star story, especially coming um, in uh, mm. those moments that we are celebrating teachers, we are celebrating what they have, yeah. what they have done for and society. And to think that a school principal and eight others were abducted in Kaduna, it's a sad one. We talked about the fact that when arms come into the country, mm. they are not for pic picnic, they are not for holidaying, they are to wreak havoc. And this exactly. is one of These those, of those um, issues. issues. Yeah. And we hope that the Kaduna state government can swing into action and bring back these people, mm. not just making empty promises, but ensuring to get to work and bring those people back to their families. Abuja Kaduna Kano Highway FD threatens to receive to revoke rather to revoke beggars contract over price dispute. All right, so to get more details of that, head on to page five on Daily Trust to read more uh, details. We do not know what uh, the price dispute is all about, but you can read more. Away from uh, Nigeria, war on Gaza, one year of killings, hunger, displacement. I said it earlier on that October 7, of course, we had that mm. uh, sad incident where um, those people who were going about celebrating, it was a celebratory yeah. event, by the way, and uh, some people were killed, yeah. maimed, butchered, women were raped, were invaded, and yeah. some were abducted and taken into the captives then. Uh, captors then and mm. uh, that initiated a conflict that is one mm. year today but whatever it is we hope and i keep on saying this when i say this semi giggles but i keep on saying this that we hope that this can be resolved peacefully mm. we know that israel may not want to back down until mm. uh you know hamas and the other surrenders but when when it comes to who takes the brunt of it all, mm. it is the people like mm. you and I, and we have to continue to speak up for them. Right. That will be all from Daily Trust. Quickly, uh, let's uh, see what the Punch asked for us. The Punch newspaper, Rivers Crisis, and I guess as expected, mm. Wiki Camp heads for court as Fubra Swiss in local government chairman. Rivers Crisis, Wiki Camp heads for court as Fubra Swiss in local government chairman with the rider, APC PDP factions vow legal battle as uh, governor, Artiko, others, council local government chiefs on residents' welfare. Interesting one here. 
and just below that you have um, the minister of budget there is a picture that has them minister of budget and national planning atiku bagudu governor abakabu yusuf of kano state secretary to the government of the federation uh george akume and minister of state for education tunko Sun tanko sununu rather during the presentation of an outstanding performance in education reform to governor as part of the activities marking the 2024 World Teachers Day at the Eagle Square in Abuja. I take that um, rule, um, the honor again, the presentation of an outstanding performance in education reform to Governor Yusuf. The facts and the statistics are there. And of course, you have here in this place, in fact, three of them, another good, they are. Yeah, you know, two of them are former governors. That Kiku Baguru was the governor of uh, Kebi State, mm -hmm. who is now a minister. Abi Kabir Yusuf, Abba Gida Gida is the governor of Kano State of the NNPP. And of course, uh, Judge Akume was a former governor of Benue State. We thank Kusununu by the side and um, celebrating the World Teachers Day. Okay, I want to believe maybe he's just an angle because I can't see any of the teachers. The real MVP is being celebrated mm. here. Or, well, you know, Peter Mano do justice to it. Moving on. I trafficked drug to pay my MSC fees. Canadian suspect. Uh-oh. What a desperate measure. I trafficked drug to pay my MSC fees. Canadian suspect. I didn't know. Maybe the Canadian suspect was dealing in Canadian loud. Who knows? But then, uh, mm -hmm. moving on. Abba Moro tackles Alia as APC sweeps Benue local government seats. All right, Abba Moro was a former governor, I mean, former minister. Uh, moving on, 50 CNG stations servicing 200 million Nigerians and NDPRA. We have it, and you have it right there. Uh, 50 CNG stations, it means what it means is for 200 million Nigerians, we only have 50 CNG stations as of now. That is coming from the NNDPRA. I'm sure nobody wants to pull that or waste their time in putting that into percentage because it will be very negligible. We're moving on, tariff hike. You know, we make so much noise about this CNG thing and it doesn't look like we are really doing what we are supposed to be doing in the terms of action. I'm not just talking about CNG and CNG buses, CNG kits, conversion kits and the rest of them. Mm. At the end of the day, as of now, according to the NMDPRA, which is a regulator in that particular uh, oil sector, oil and gas sector, mm. we only have 50 yeah. in the whole of Nigeria, God's own Nigeria. You know, interesting one to say. But every time you see people talking about CNG, conversion, and everything, these are the issues. 2027, Labour Party welcomes Kwak Wansu's offer to be obese running mate. No one might say which of the Labour Party is this one. Which of the leadership is this one? <laughs> All right. Uh, is he the Nenadi Usman led uh, leadership? 2027 Labour Party welcomes Kwa Kwanso's offer to be obese running mate. By the way, I think the race is on if you ask me. Yeah. Because 2027 is not that far as far as politics is concerned. Even those in power, the moment they are sworn in, they are already preparing you know for the next election and these are some of the issues as well and top strip naira for crude three refineries plan pms production dangote awaits nnpc supply naira for crude three refineries plan pms production dangote awaits nnpc supply finally the naira for crude policy has begun mm. and nigerians are waiting what will be the result of it the other production we learned was done on the basis of Naira trans I mean dollar transaction. But now Naira uh, is the one exchanging hands in this particular way. So let's see how that one will favor the generality of the Nigerians in the reduction of price, you know, for the um, petroleum product, especially PMS called petrol. And finally, Nigeria's debt servicing soars to six trillion naira, say CBN report. Nigeria's debt servicing, servicing, okay, that emphasis on the word servicing, 
you know, soars to 6 trillion naira. And that's coming from a CBN report. Service in debt with a whooping 6 trillion naira. Interesting. The question is, how much are we making as a nation? How much of our revenue are we using to service debt? By the way, we are still accruing more debt, you know, in this particular case. But then, as they say, um, you see the handlers of the government saying the debt to GDP ratio, we are still clean, we are still healthy, we, have, we still have some, you know, uh, some space. We have not reached the threshold yet, but then we don't have to say because we have not reached the threshold and generations yet unborn will be indebted even before they are born. These are some of the issues. But then that will be all from the papers today. We take this quick break and when we return, you know, we speak about Asia's present one. Election, local government elections as held in many states, including River State. We will, you know, be looking into it, how it all went down, the process of that election that has produced the 22 local government chairmen, you know, uh, of the APP and one of the uh, other party as well. And what is happening, especially coming from that state, Rivers. It's the morning spring. Stay with us. We'll be right back.